Has this ever happened to you? Hello guys, welcome, let's play Bang Dream Girls Band Party. Huh? A few moments later. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. So why? Is there a reason why Unite from A to Z is one of the most popular song choices in multi-live? Turns out, there is a reason why. And no, it's not just because it's a banger, but rather, it's because it's optimal to do so. Let's talk about Bang Dream's song meta. Now before we talk about the meta, what does meta even mean? Using our favorite resource, the internet. The definition of meta is most effective tactics available. It is to be a generally agreed upon strategy that's considered to be the most optimal way to win and or provide the best performance at a specific task. The meta depends on the context of what is defined as winning or performing optimally. For instance, take a great fighting game like Super Smash Bros. 4, the Nintendo Wii U. Remember, Smash Ultimate, in contrast, is a party game. In this game, your goal is to knock your opponent off the screen. The task itself is simple, but there comes a choice of 58 different characters with unique sets of characteristics and skills. To best follow the objective of defeating your opponent, you should choose a character with strong attributes to give you the best odds to win. For example, Bayonetta here is a character who can quickly rack up damage, combo you off the stage, and can easily get out of a disadvantaged state. Bayonetta is considered a strong character and will be used more often by players who want to give themselves the highest chance to achieve the objective of winning. Bayonetta will be considered a meta character, unlike someone like Zelda. So be this smart guy here, not this guy. But Bang Dream is a completely different game. It's a rhythm game first of all, so these cute girls ain't beating the crap out of each other. So what is considered winning in this game? Well. There is a different form of competition in the game, tiering. The goal in tiering is to obtain the most amount of event points within a given time period. The more points you have, the higher your ranking. Before I go on, yes, the strength of your team of cards will contribute to getting more event points. There are so-called meta cards, but that's not what we'll be discussing today. How well you score is not the only thing you need to win. You also need to gain points within a certain period of time. Remember, meta can also be classified as providing the best performance at a certain task. Tiering is a balance between getting lots of points but also doing so within a limited time period. If you can play more songs within a given time period, you'll be able to gain more event points overall. Thus, Bang Dream song meta is more accurately classified as the songs that give the most amount of points in the shortest amount of time. A song that gives more points and gives points fast is considered a winning strategy or meta. Thus, efficiency is what we need to focus on to optimize our performance and improve our chances of winning, which in this case is to achieve a desired event ranking. So what songs are considered meta? Luckily, BestStory.com has just the resource. So let's check it out here by clicking on the song meta tab. As of May 2022, here's the full ranking of meta songs in Bang Dream's worldwide server. The ranking combines two key elements, song length and scoring factor, then combining them into one statistic called efficiency percentage. Efficiency is our highest priority, so we are looking for the shortest songs and the greatest scoring factor. The higher efficiency percent, the more meta the song is. But you might be taking a look at this list and say, hey, wait a second, Phil, based on this ranking, Save Your Song is the highest ranked song. Being the song with the highest score factor and the shortest length in the game. Unite from A to Z, on the other hand, isn't even top three in terms of scoring factor. So, so what's what up with that? Doesn't that mean that Save Your Song would be the most popular song we would choose in multi life for this purpose? Yes, it's true that Unite from A to Z is technically not the most efficient song. That goes to Save Your Song. This song meta chart alone does not explain why A to Z is so popular in multi life rooms. 
but the song meta ranking also assumes that all players involved are playing optimally. That means getting all perfect notes, not dropping a single note, and of course, no deaths. It's hard to expect the average player in multi-life matchmaking to be good enough in the game to play a song as difficult as Save Your Song perfectly, especially being a level 28 song. If a player drops many notes or even dies during the song, the overall room score will plummet, leading to everyone getting less event points overall. And as you can see, playing the hard difficulty instead severely lowers the score rank, so switching difficulties really is not worth it. On the other hand, Unite from A to Z is the second best choice. Although it's not as time and score efficient as Save Your Song, it is by far the safer choice as the expert difficulty is much more manageable being only a level 26 song. Even for those who may struggle at the expert difficulty, there's still the level 25 special difficulty which scores slightly worse but is still top 5 in efficiency meta while being much easier to play. Lastly, Save Your Song is still a relatively new song, while A2Z has been in the game for much longer, so some old tiering habits die hard. In a non-perfect world when factoring in human error and accessibility, Unite from A2Z is indeed the, the king, king of, of the songs. Ultimately, this is why A2Z is so popular in multi-live rooms. It's a banger, and it's ideal for everyone to get more points quickly. This is especially ideal if you have a private room where Every person in the room picks only A to Z as quickly as possible, which is what tiers actually do. But then, you have the enemy of society. There are people who get sick of hearing Aya's cute voice over and over again, so when A to Z is chosen, they disconnect from the room. Griefing a room technically benefits nobody because it is a lost opportunity for event point gain for everyone. But because multi-live is a random matchmaking system, some players just do not have the same mindset to optimize and do not necessarily care or even despise playing meta songs for how often they are chosen. Nonetheless, if one were to optimize playing in random multi-live rooms, one would have to account for the fact that songs will be played in non-optimal conditions that one cannot control. Such non-optimal conditions can include the other player's skill level, the other song choices that may be chosen at random, and of course, those who dodge songs. So A to Z is the meta song under ideal conditions, but is it truly the meta song in random, non-optimal multi-life rooms? The truth is, the meta game is not always static. Indeed, there's the theory aspect of what's optimal, but then you also have to account for what happens in practice, as well as changes that occur to the game. Depending on these various factors, the meta game can shift. Competitive Pokemon is well known for being a game with major shifts in the meta. New mechanics and innovative strategies can influence what is considered the optimal way of winning. Here's a basic example and, and bear with me guys, I know this is old school so bear with me. Scizor, here, was an excellent Pokemon used by many tiers in the Generation 4 overuse tier. It had the benefits of great dual typing, acceptable all-around defenses, and packs an offensive punch. However, trainers soon adapted to overcome this meta strategy. Scizor's main weakness is fire-type Pokemon, so players would add Pokemon like, over here, we have Heatran, a fire and steel-type Pokemon. So this will improve their chances to win against opponents with Scizor. Heatran eventually took over as one of the most influential Pokemon in the metagame as a result, so this is an example of the metagame shifting depending on how its surroundings adapt. We now understand that in private multi-live rooms, it's easy to follow the meta and choose Save Your Song or A to Z for maximum efficient uh, event point gain. But when that song choice is out of your control, this metagame could change. Some players in random multi-live rooms have adapted as a result, and the A to Z haters who want to avoid playing the song at all costs will simply disconnect from the room. It's not a perfect match to the Pokemon example, as this really isn't a winning strategy, but regardless, the point is, just like how people created anti scissor strategies in Pokemon, players have created anti A to Z strategies in Bang Dream, even if it technically benefits nobody in gaining event points. So is there a way to stay efficient while accounting for the A to Z or SOS griefers? 
Perhaps there's a separate meta involving the best song choice in random multi-live rooms where you could still stay relatively efficient by choosing other songs. Let's look down the list and see what other songs are high up on the rankings. Exist here is a relatively recent addition to the EN server and actually has a higher scoring factor than A2Z. Overall, it's only slightly less efficient than the expert version of A2Z due to its song length, but difficulty-wise, I would say it's much easier. Other songs down the list like Jumpy and Brave Jewel are really efficient as well, although these songs in my opinion are much more difficult. Songs closer to the top of the song meta charts, we could call them soft meta songs. Although these soft meta songs are not as efficient as A to Z, they are less popular and would be chosen less in multi-live rooms as well. As a result, many players would probably not be as tired of listening to the song and there's a much lower risk that you would bump into a player that would dodge said song. So songs like Exist and Jumping, which are slightly less efficient overall, can still be solid choices if you want to rack up points quickly and may actually save some time compared to an alternate scenario where A2Z is chosen and someone dodges and kills the room. Of course, just like how trainers adapted their strategies in competitive Pokemon, these griefers have evolved as well and will also adapt to these soft meta choices as well. It is not uncommon now that people will dodge exist and jumping as they get chosen more often in random multi-live rooms. As an example, Kasabuta is a very easy level 25 song that also gained quite a bit of notoriety for its efficiency and lower difficulty. It is very popular when it first came out, but as time went on, the number of reported dodgers for Kasabuta increased as well. There's a fine balance when it comes to choosing a song in random multi-live rooms for best efficiency in event point game. Either choose a less efficient song that will most likely be played if picked, or choose a more efficient song but that's more popular and risk losing efficiency because of griefers. Not only that, the song choice has to be relatively accessible for any skill level, as that's something you cannot control. Some efficient but difficult songs like Brave Jewel, Asano Yozora Shokaihan, and Paradise's Paradoxum could lead to players choosing lower difficulties or fuang on the song, leading to overall less score efficiency. So in random multi-live rooms, what are the meta songs? Exist is certainly becoming a more popular choice now in multi-lives, but as time passes, there will most definitely be more and more Exist dodgers as it gets chosen more often. To maximize the chances of players choosing the expert difficulty to increase room score, easier songs like uh, Fua Fua Time and Legendary English Version and Korekara and as well as BOF here, uh, they may still be pretty relevant and solid choices. Other songs like, let's see, Believe in My Existence, we have Miro, we have Initial, and Great Escape. They're also solid choices, but they are riskier choices because of their higher difficulty level. One of my personal favorite soft meta choices is Cue My Flower. It's not too difficult for a level 26 song, and it's not often chosen in rooms enough for people to hate the song. In fact, just like A2Z, we still get to hear Aya's lovely voice and it's also top 10 in efficiency under ideal conditions in the EN server. Eventually, as the game ages, as we could see at the JP server song meta, newer songs will start to dethrone it, but either way, I have been mainly choosing the song if I want to stay efficient in random public rooms. And to this day, I've yet to see a Cue My Flower Dodger. To be honest, I'm kind of torn because I want to spread the Cue My Flower propaganda, but I fear it may end up suffering the same fate as A2Z if I do so. We went on a tangent on the initial question to this video, but hopefully I was able to answer why A2Z is the most popular choice in random multi-live rooms. So what kind of song chooser are you? Do you choose A2Z or Exist or save your song for maximum efficiency? Or are you more of a soft meta choice of player? Or maybe you're one of those notorious song dodgers, hmm? For newer players, hopefully this discussion of the song meta in Bang Dream gives you an idea of why certain songs are more popular than others in multi-life. For veteran players, perhaps this discussion of the meta game can help you decide your next song in multi-lives. And for some of you out there, maybe give some food for thought before you dodge another A to Z. After all, everyone wins when we unite from A to Z. Thanks for watching everyone. For more Bang Dream content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Any support, including likes, comments, and super thanks are greatly appreciated.
Until next time.